Good afternoon to all the esteemed participants who are connected through this virtual forum. Who you are tomorrow begins with what you do today, says American author Tim Fargo. I wholeheartedly welcome all the faculty members and research scholars to this session on identifying intellectual property component at the early stage of innovation, jointly organized by the Deanery of Research and Development and Institutions Innovation Council Cell of Bishop Heber College. Let's, let's begin this program with a word of prayer. May I now invite the Vice Principal of Bishop Heber College, Professor A. Aragapa Moses, to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for uh, giving us a new day and uh, bringing us together as members of Bishop Heber College and the students and the faculty members of this college. Lord, we place under thy mighty hands the principals, the vice principals, the deans, the heads and coordinators, and all the members of the faculty of arts and science discipline. Bless each and every one of us. Lord, we place under thy mighty hands the deanery of research and development and the institution innovation council. They have meticulously planned to organize a program on identifying intellectual property component at the early stage of innovation. It is going to be a great help to the members of the faculty of Bishop Weber College. We place under thy mighty hands the resource person, Mr. Akhilin, one of our illustrious alumnus of Bishop Weber College, who is serving as the deputy controller of patents and designs in the patent office. We thank uh, for accepting the invitation, Mr. Akhilin, and giving this all the intellectual uh, information, which will be of, going to be of great help to our community. 
plus the convener, the co-convener, and all the organizers, and all the members of the faculty. Jesus' precious name, amen. Okay. Thank you, sir, for bringing the word of God. Small cheer and great welcome make a merry feast. Let me now invite the Dean of Research and Development and the UG head in the Department of English, Dr. Suresh Frederick, to welcome the gathering. Good afternoon, everyone. Respected principal, revered vice principals, respected chief guest of this meeting, illustrious uh, Mr. B. Ayyanswar, respected deans and uh, my dear colleagues. I stand here to welcome you all to this useful interaction. First of all, I wish to welcome the captain of the ship, our principal. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being part of this. Welcome, sir. At this juncture, I wish to welcome our vice principal, aided Dr. Moses, sir. He is known for his innovations. He is the right person. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming to this meeting. I also wish to welcome our vice principal projects. In fact, he is leading from the front for the innovation cell. Welcome you, sir. We also wish to welcome the innovation cell co-convener, Dr. James Manovaran. And uh, he is innovation personified. He does his best to do something. Yes, thank you for coming, sir. And all the organizers. And also wish to welcome uh, deans, especially the Dean of Sciences. And uh, as she is also in charge of chemistry, she is going to introduce Mr. B. Ahilan. I also wish to welcome Dean IPSC, uh, Dr. Quincy Merlin. Welcome, ma'am. And also uh, a special word of welcome to the chief guest, Mr. P. Ahilan, uh, Deputy Controller of uh, Patents and Designs. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, being part of this. He, you are our illustrious alumnus. Thank you, sir. Welcome and welcome all of you for this useful interaction. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for welcoming everyone profusely. The future belongs to those who learn more skills and combine them in creative ways, says Robert Greene. May I now invite the principal of Bishop Heber College Dr. D. Paul Diabran to give the presidential address. Thank you. So, esteemed resource persons of today's meeting organized by Deanery of Research and Development and Institute of Innovation Cell, for illustrious alumnus, Mr. <coughs> B. Akilin, Deputy Controller of Patents and Designs from Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India. Can I, beloved Vice Principal in section, Dr. Sarah Pomotas, beloved Vice Principal, Projects, Dr. Umesh, and our Dean for Research and Development, Dr. Suresh Patrick, and our Dean of Sciences, Dr. Violet, and our Dean of IQAC, Dr. Mrs. Prince Murphy, beloved co convener of this Institute of Innovation Self, Dr. James Manohan, the head of BCA, and my dear Colleagues who are online, good afternoon. My walk with this all of you. So it's really a privilege for me to be with you this afternoon while powerfully doing the research and development and institution innovation cell jointly is organizing this useful meeting <coughs> on, the, on the topic sessions on identifying intellectual property component at the early stage of innovation. And of the the very appropriate resource person who is the deputy controller of patents and designs uh, from Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And, um, uh, and incidentally, it's a nice coincidence that he is the last governor of a college who did the UG at the University of Nova College. So I'm glad that he has come up so well 
and these uh, mistress uh, to motivate us, to encourage us, and the various ways of registering our findings uh, uh, into converting into patterns. Mm. So, dear friends, I'm glad that Institute of University is doing a lot of activities promoting the culture of uh, innovation up to the student friends. In fact, the humanitary by the government of India, ever since the humanitary, our college, with the help of R&D, the help of faculty from science departments, they have formed a nice self, institution innovation cell, and they are organizing various programs. Recently, they also conducted the exhibition, the coordinating with science, different science of those departments. So therefore, we can invite student friends, talented friends, uh, for giving, for presenting their ideas to various experts. I'm glad that today, and of course, we take one of the first for increasing pub uh, uh, publications, for doing quality research, of course, we get funds from funding agencies like UTC, DST, and other agencies. Now, for, uh, apart from those, as management, we are also uh, granting minor projects for the Faculty of Science, Arts, uh, and other disciplines. So, dear friends, so any anyway, ultimate aim is we must do research. We can't separate research from teaching in higher education, of course, not only uh, for the faculty, but also we are inculcating research interest to the student friends, both UG as well as PD. So at this juncture, I appreciate, congratulate the Jainaria Polity and Institute of Innovation Center for jointly organizing this meeting for the benefit of the teaching community as well as the students' community. I'm sure the resource person is, uh, yeah, the, the very presence of the resource person of uh, high caliber will impress upon all the participants and definitely they also take what the first uh, for converting, for registering their findings uh, and uh, patterns. So, at this juncture, without wasting much time, once again, I can make my speech a very wishes to each and everyone who is responsible for the scheme to happen in our campus through online this afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for motivating all the faculty members through your presidential address. We are happy to have the distinguished chief guest, Mr. B. Ahilan amidst us. Let me invite the Dean of Academic Science and the head of the Department of Biotechnology and Bioinformatics, Dr. V. Violet Diabran, to introduce the chief guest. Thank you. Uh, Department of Chemistry and as well as uh, Vishalibo College is delighted to have illustrious alumnus for college, especially alumnus of chemistry, Mr. Akile, Deputy Controller of Creative Design, uh, to have in our midst. And he's an industrious alumnus and he's an inspiration to all our students as well as our faculty as well. And he used to act as a catalyst to all our students to uh, explore in research as well as in uh, innovative activities, especially in the field of chemistry. So we are very fortunate to have such an eminent person in our midst and happy to introduce him. Uh, he did his undergraduation and post-graduation in Bishop River College in early 90s. And he secured university first rank in MSc and is a great pride for our department. He did his uh, MBA from Madurai Comrade University and he continued his studies in Nandamala University. And in um, Indira Gandhi Open University, he secured a diploma degree, PG, BA, PR, uh, which supported a lot of uh, no things for his uh, position. He worked as uh, R&D uh, in charge at Cisco Kudalu from 1996 to 2000. Later, he joined as Kudalu's house in the Department of Revenue, Ministry of Finance, Government of India in 2000 and moved to the vacant office, Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India as an examiner of patents and designs in 2002. Later, he promoted to the post of Assistant Controller of Patents and Designs for quasi-judicial function in 2009. On further promotion, at present, he is holding the post of Deputy Controller of Patents and Designs for Quasi 
judicial function at the patent office, Chennai, and he is responsible for supervising all examiners and their report, analyzing the patentability criteria, and designing the patent applications. So he attended a lot of training courses on patent examination at Japan Patent Office, Tokyo, in 2007. And he participated in a number of seminars on patent system at the Japan, Japan Patent Office, Tokyo, in December 2013. And more than that, he delivered a lot of lectures on this particular topic, intellectual property rights. We know we have a lot of uh, mobile and immobile properties, and uh, we are interested to transfer our property to our higher. But uh, transferring our intellectual property to the society is very important thing, and we feel very proud to have our alumnus have this kind of very good uh, responsibility and in like the right position in the government sector to deal with uh, students as well as faculty members in the intellectual uh, matters. So we are happy to invite him as a resource person, and I thank the organizers for having given this kind of opportunity to all our faculty as well as our students. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for introducing the chief guest in detail. Learning is a journey that never ends. I'm sure we all are eager to listen to and learn more about the intellectual property rights. May I now invite the distinguished guest of, guest of honor, Mr. B. Ahilan, Deputy Controller of Patents and Design to share his prolific comprehension on identifying intellectual property component at the early stage of innovation. We welcome you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very much thankful for the institution, the principal, the IAC members convener, co-convener, IQAC, and the entire institution. As an alumnus of Bishabar College, I'm thankful to all my professors who are part of my career. It's my duty to I express my sincere thanks to all the professors because what I am today all because of the education, what I learned from the college. The way of teaching, the motivating the students, then the seminars, organizing the seminars, encourage the students in participating at uh, national level and at the intercollege seminar. It helped me a lot. Of course, uh, Principal Sir was my hosted warden. Whenever we interact, the thing used to motivate us. Actually, I was from a remote village in Kadalur district. Uh, 96, I completed my PG degree uh, in Bishavu College. Sir used to motivate us whenever we interact with him. And my, I am happy to see my own professors, Dr. Violet, Madam, and Dr. Prince Man, who are here. They, they were all part of my career. I'm thankful to the institution and all my professors once again from the bottom of my heart. Then coming to the topic, the topic is very well chosen. We have to understand what is intellectual property. This we have to apply during the course of study. We are living with intellectual property in our day-to-day -day life. Have you ever recognized it? We are living in our day-to-day -day life. Even a single day will not move without uh, intellectual property, any of the intellectual property item. The moment we start our life in the early morning, the toothpaste, toothbrush, the pep soda, Colgate, Dauber Red, then the almost all the cosmetic items, shampoos, clinic plus, Dow, Mira shampoo, soap, micro sandal, synthal, etc. etc. The books that we are reading, the medicines that we are taking, then the vehicles that we are using, mobile phone that we are using, computers that we are using, the paintings that we are seeing on the wall, almost everything is the form of intellectual property. And everything is a product of human ingenuity, skill, capital, investment, besides labors, etc., etc. So it has to be respected before the item could be manufactured lawfully. That is the basic of the intellectual property. In Tamil, it is called Arivusar Sutti. Arivusar Sutti, product of mind. Occurring a pattern is now of utmost 
importance when developing any innovative product or solution as the risk of a copycat product being launched or high. Besides, your pattern enhances and protects the value of your product or service, particularly in the technical domain. It is important to be aware that once an idea or product is out in the public domain without a pattern, it is not difficult for someone to steal the concept and claim it as their own. We are good at reverse engineering. Pattern filing should be given priority at an early stage of product development or there is a high chance of losing the rights associated with being the original creator behind an idea or product. Filing a pattern acts as a potential deterrent for someone else coming up with a similar product in the market. In fact, a pattern is an effective mechanism to keep importance of filing patterns as India is getting up to become an innovation hub through more investment in research and collaboration. Besides, the center is doing its bit by launching various initiatives to nurture the startup ecosystem in India. The big advantage of getting a pattern is that pattern holder can license it to others to use or even sell it. It becomes a significant source of revenue and also helps to recover the amount spent on R&D and filing for the pattern. There are businesses that have been established solely to collect the royalties from a patent they have licensed in combination with the registered design and trademark, etc. etc. Above all, a patent raises the value and potential of your product, which boosts the confidence of the investors and helps to attract them. Venture capitalists are keener on collaborating or investigating in startups that have already secured a, secured a patent. Some advantages are ensure exclusivity in the market, increase the financial valuation of the company, offers opportunity to gain licensing revenues, comes with various business development, etc. etc. The intellectual property, the reviews are so good. If you want to understand the term intellectual property, but you have to understand that understand the term property. What do you mean by property? The property. Property is a material or object belonging to a person. This is my car. This is my apartment. This is my land. This is my machine. My refrigerator. My washing machine. So we have some document of proof of everything to show that this is our property. Here the ownership plays important role here. Let us take our house. We are the owners. That means right to possess, use, dispose, and exclude others. Okay. Right to possess, use, dispose, and exclude others. These are the basic rights that we are having on, the, on our own property, land, house. No one can enter our house without our permission. This is the exclusive right. In the same way, all the intellectual property will have all the rights. When if you invent anything, you will have all the rights. Right to possess, use, dispose, even you can mortgage our house. So everything you are having, all the rights. We, have to, we always have to compare with the property. There's property, the property. You, this, the rights are same. We always see, we call it as a bundle of rights. It's right to possess, use, dispose, and exclude others. This is called exclusive right. Somebody will call it as a negative right. We always say it's positive to the inventor, negative to the infringer. I take this opportunity to congratulate the institution that one more feather added to the grounds of Vishwabar College. Recently, we have granted a patent uh, on this hair uh, dye composition for the inventor, I mean, applicants, uh, Dr. Isaiah and uh, uh, Dr. Kortike. We are living, you know, uh, in Trash property in our day to day life. Everything what we are using in our day to day life, the mobile phone, yes. Huge development technologically. So, whatever knowledge that we are learning today, we are going to discuss the very basic about the internship of right components. 
actually uh, uh, violet madam uh, last month itself asked for a program for their student in the biotechnology department i gave confirmation to in the first week of february in the meantime uh, call one more call i mean one more request also received so i proceeded with this one madam if you want we can have it one more program also at any time after the, during the next week property this tangible and intangible we are dividing under tangible this movable and immovable properties are falling table scooter in movable house land everything dash property is falling under the category of intangible physically you can attach non physical only if you invent something it can be i mean documented and if, if it is meeting all the criteria you will be granted patent only certificate will be issued this is the basics of the dash property Trish property. If you understand the term property, you can very well go ahead with the intellectual property. What are all the rights you are having in the property? You will have all the rights in the intellectual property. Intellectual property is that which results from the creation of intellect in industrial, scientific, literary, or artistic field. Intellectual properties, property rights, are the exclusive rights granted to the owner of the said property for its commercial exploitation. subject to the provisions of national laws and international agreement they view to reward the intellectual creativity if it can be assigned or license for financial benefit we always say this. we have a patent you can give job to others no all the students if those who are studying the any courses will go for higher studies then go for research ultimately end up with some job instead if you have a patent you can give job to others it's it's you to decide whether you want to be a job giver or job taker you want to be employee or employer that must be always says intellectual property rights are the intellectual currencies it's a golden mine but awareness is somewhat less in india itself is more than 160 year old system 170 year old system but awareness among the people so what is what are the reason behind it don't we have enough uh, brilliant brain we have but we are not aware of the intellectual property right system we are not aware of the patent we are not aware of the uh, i'm not saying 100% we are less aware that is the reason nowadays the government is conducting this type of awareness program starting from the school levels the aim of the government is to register in the student mind what are the different intellectual property component how to get what are the benefits how to get right them we always say this i mean this intellectual property is not a single term this all together this eight components all together tell us intellectual property right? patents trademark lateral indication copyright designs it secrets layout is a integrated circuit plant variety it's all eight eight compounds all together called as intellectual property it's like a science we have uh, physics chemistry biology for the under chemistry we are having organic chemistry inorganic chemistry physical chemistry and we have interdisciplinary biotechnology biochemistry etc etc this is like a science first when please prepare your mind that you are going to learn a new subject the importance of intellectual property is number is growing you are forced to do that that is visiting your college there is a question of format they will be asking you how many patent application published by you how many patents granted to you the awarding separate mark nir the national institution ranking framework there is there is a question they are asking how many patents filed how many patents published how many patents granted to you accordingly they are awarding marks you know this becomes a parameter to analyze the institution capacity that is the reason most of the institution the uh, website itself they are publishing that this much of patent we are having this many trademarks we are having this became a parameter to analyze an institution not only indigen institution also so this all together called as intellectual property right if you want to get any single right you have to apply separately and get the right there is no single form to get all the rights all the eight components 
okay let us different we will see you, today we are going to uh, discuss about the basics of the all the british property component the innovation we always use the word if someone give an idea what oh very good is innovative idea it's a creativity plus whereas it comes to internship of the right it's a creativity with commercialization innovation is about putting a new idea or approach into action innovation is commonly described as the commercially successful exploitation of ideas there is a way to do better find it invention is the first occurrence of an idea for a new product or process while innovation is the first attempt to carry out into practice if you have an idea make it as invention then commercialize the invention to innovation i was telling about the uh, awareness the less aware awareness among us in all over india for example in, in patents we are getting almost 50000 application per annum even among the 50000 application 65% are from the abroad only 35% contribution from the indian innovation innovators maybe individual companies institution etc only 35% in the rest 65% from the abroad us is the major failure you know the rest of the bag looking at our population as a huge marketplace they're looking at as a marketplace because of our population the reason behind this uh, less number of industrial property rights by our own our uh, indian uh, inventor there may be say, several reason one we can say the risks that we are taking play something uh, uh, theoretical based risks some what is only utility risks only utility type of invention only coming at a patents even somebody do, those who are doing the research scholars if even if they invent something simply they are publishing in the journal for the purpose of getting a degree they are not coming forward filing patents this also one of the reasons even if someone files a patent application some research scholar they are not following it up further after getting the degree they are leaving the institution even if they send the, some communication no response the patent is lapsed the invention is lost and even something is granted simply they are framing the certificate in the wall and they are not taking up their invention to the commercial level these are the reasons that we are lacking behind uh, with the foreign countries in the number of inventions filed in the uh, industrial property right office the government in 2019 have uh, published this national innovation startup policy for students and faculty the national innovation startup policy for students and faculty of higher education institution will enable the institute to actively engage students faculties and staff in innovation and entrepreneurship related activities the sipam from our ministry ministry of commerce and industry also published a guideline the sell for ipr promotion manage sipam model guidelines on implementation of ipr policy in academic institution have been prepared by sipam the ultimate goal of this models guideline is to promote student led startup and ventures to protect and to respect intellectual property now we are forced to do that my uh, respected professors so far the situation may be different now the nac is visiting nirf is uh, ranking your institution you have to do something that's the government idea now intellectual property protection is critical to fostering innovation it's very important the right the protection of ideas businesses and individuals would not reap the full benefits of their innovative invention and would focus less on research and development yet as a investment involved in the in the r and d work by by way of trust property you are legally protected no one can copy your invention you are free to do business and if you are in any i mean any business it's a matter of survival 
it's, it's mandatory it's mandatory to have some kind of grid property relating to your business otherwise someone will take the right and sue you the letter it may be you may have to spend a lot to prove that this the work is by yours similarly artists would not artists would not be fully compensated for the creations and cultural vitality would suffer as a result so that this it needs a protection a simple understanding for a very central property company simple example mobile phone the working mechanism of mobile mobile phone falling under the category of patent the aesthetic view of the product look shape is coming under the industrial design the name nokia samsung etc etc falling under the case and the trademark the working manual manual of the mobile phone falling under the category of copyright so whenever you have a product you have to go for a combo you have to, you have to register get the right in all the possible uh, intellectual property companies but in this case in a single product we are having four intellectual property right companies you have to explore at the maximum similarly pressure cooker the concept special feature the space record for boiling 1 kg of rice with water how much weight is required for boiling the 1 kg rice is falling under the category of patent the uh, handle or the view i mean product appearance coming under design premier prestige is coming under the category of trademark logo brand name the catalog booklet of the uh, pressure falling under the category of copyright another simple understanding of this english pocket right you are having an idea you are expressing only in the written form then it is falling under the category of copyright only if you have an idea through which you are making an invention so it can be protected under patent you have an idea of a product which has unique quality and identity no if you have some product definitely you need some trademark so that when it is in the market the society the public will ask the name even for purchasing uh, agarbattis we are asking by name give me cycle brand agarbattis so give me a synthetic so like the idea the quality of the product is only in the appearance of the uh, product aesthetic view it can be protected under the same of course if you have an idea you keep it as a secret with you is considered a trade secret so i have discussed about the various intellectual property right components there are eight components we are going to uh, have a very basic idea of the all the eight components very basic industrial design is the aesthetic view of the product the system to offer protection to the ideas of the designing community any new or original idea applied to an article to pattern shape or configuration of configuration next an appeal to the eye from an industrial design let me show you some examples so the consumer product already registered under the industrial design toothbrush itself we can find thousands of uh, registration textile and jewelry probably if you visit uh, any of the jewelry mart GRT, they have registered so many designs. You will find that there is a six-digit registration number at the back side of the ornament. Even the pharmaceutical products, so many registered designs are available. Two D graphic designs, three D graphic design, comic characters, and everything is coming under industrial design. A simple comparison. It should be new and original. That's it. We should not be similar to the already existing one. If it is, if your idea is different, you will be granted. This is basic idea of the design, industrial design. Next, I am going to trademarks. So many uh, trademarks, logo are registered in our mind. What is this? This is Nike. This one. Apple, this one, Mercedes-Benz, Pepsi. So, 
these are the uh, trademarks. The definition, a trademark is any sign which can distinguish the goods of one trader from those of another. Sign includes words, logos, pictures, or a combination of those. A trademark is used as a marketing tool so that customers can recognize the product of a particular trader. To register a trademark, the mark must be distinctive and not deceptive or contrary to law or morality and not identical or similar to any earlier marks for the same or similar goods. Different smell, sound, brand, signature, label, name, words, letter, slogans. This was used for a Pepsi. Nowadays, we are seeing so many advertisements. Google toothpaste love purka. What comes to our mind? The Colgate toothpaste. Not only Colgate toothpaste, Kajalagaral too. The combination of letter, logo, everything is coming under trademark. Must be gra graphically represented. Paid mark, device mark, collective mark, certification mark like ISA, Edmark, service, service mark, any institution, bank, anything. Everything is falling under the trademark. Of course, a company's logo makes up their brand identity and how people see them. Sometimes we are seeing this type of uh, meaningful trademark, Amazon.com. The yellow arrow is not just a smiley, it also suggests that you can buy everything A to Z. I mean, meaningful trademark. We have to coin our own. You can find almost A to Z. So many logos, trademark. A to Z. The way of representation is very, very important here. You take this H. Uh, H in the uh, Honda City, Honda Amaze is different. Whereas in Hyundai i10, i20, Sandro, that H is different. So, way of representation is very, very important here. The emblems and the names, these are all prohibited. No, the trademark is registered in our mind. You know, even for purchasing pencil, we are asking, give me Nataraj pencil, give me Apsara pencil. Even Agarbati, we are asking by name, Psychic Brand Agarbati. So, shampoo, chocolates, almost all uh, products which you are purchasing, everything is having some trade. We, if we are attracted to the quality of any product, definitely we are asking. Whenever we, are, we need a product, we are asking by name, we will be purchasing the product which is registered in our mind as a good quality. So, by, by way of creating such an impression, the company spend a lot in maintaining their quality and services through, through trademarks. And of course, this uh, regarding this uh, trademark, you might have aware of this Dindigal uh, Talapakati Biryani store. Whenever this Biryani is come to man, the Nicola Telepagati also comes to our mind. We have several branches all over the state. Actually, it was started in the year uh, 1957 by a uh, name is uh, Nagasami Naidu in the Nicola. He used to wear a uh, Talpa, a, a turban, Tamil it is we are saying Talpa. So it becomes his trademark of Naidu, Telepagati, Biryani, RFK, Pod. The people used to talk that uh, fragrance. Um, you know, this 1957, they started this uh, biryani in the name of Ananda Vilas. Later, they, uh, after this, they become Telefagatri uh, trade. It was appreciated by the people, recognized by this Telepa, uh, Turban. So later, they started so many branches. But, uh, you know, it has some inequality. People started misusing their name. Free riders. You no, know, in Chennai you can find almost every street some biryani stall talpagati biryani. After really seeing the situation, they filed a case in the High Court. Finally, High Court directed to remove the names those who are using uh, talpagati name. Thereafter, they removed all the names. That's, they changed the name to Mahutar biryani, etc., etc. Something. So. 
this is a goodwill developed by the uh, particular individual and improving the main and improving and maintaining the quality of the product next i am moving to copyright copyright we always uh, see this symbol c with circle in books journals etc etc the copyright protection is available to writings music sculptures painting lectures choreographic works maps cinematographic works technical drawing translation etc protection also extends to multimedia protection the main criterion for the protection of the work under copyright laws is that it should be original this is the condition actually uh, when talking to dr kunsman she specifically asked me to cover uh, copyright in detail i i will try to give more input minimum and maximum uh, level this is essential for filing a copyright you know we are always taking a photocopy of any book maybe a foreign author book that cost 20000 30000 simply you are taking a photocopy but the there is a, uh, you know some human ingenuity is involved in writing the book the basic idea is to protect the right uh, the organizers can you please stop the recording because we are i am from government side if by mistake if i use any word or by tongue slip if they say something it will become evidence can you please stop recording including now sir please organizers please thank you thank you sir thank you thank you so much sir for your wonderful and meticulous presentation dear faculty members the floor is open for questions if you have any clarifications to make kindly unmute and direct your questions to our chief guest congratulations uh, dr akilan uh, thank you ma'am thank you for sparing your time with us in motivating and guiding us in registering our patents and copyrights one question uh, related with this uh, uh, chemistry work uh, our students are following uh, unique uh, synthetic uh, procedures or they are developing their own uh, synthetic novel uh, synthetic procedures uh, yes, is it possible to register uh, some copyright or uh, uh, in which category it comes and is there any possibility to register it under ipr category uh, yes ma'am this work can be protected under patents man you have to elaborate the you have to prepare the right up the process how we are making the process what this means i mean you have to differentiate with your work with the already existing thing that means you can search on your own what is the novel added points if there is a difference with the existing work definitely the process also can be protected if the product is new definitely you can put can be protected under uh, patents man uh, no i this encourage the student Uh, uh, it can be protected under patent very well. I will be guiding you in filing the patent and others. The product it may not be new. The product may be the same, but the root is then, novel. Yeah, then we can go for process patent, ma'am. Process okay. alone we can register. Oh, thank you, thank you, Dr. Adilan. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Please. Patent is uh, based on innovation or invention. Sir, for invention. Patent is based on innovation or invention. Innovative idea that you have to make it as an invention. You know, uh, if you, that's what I the, at the beginning I said, if you are having idea, you are expressing only in the written form. It can be protected under copyright. If you have an idea. I mean, the simple understanding is the problem, a solution to a problem. If there is a problem, we are able to give a solution technically. Then it will become an invention. Invention is, you can say, innovation is a common word. You can apply to anything, any idea. You can say innovative idea. The innovative idea you can make it as a uh, invention is is the product. The pattern is not coming under important things. Can protect under patents. Sir, one more question. So, yes, sir. What is the difference between a paper writing and a patent writing? Sir, 
common terminology we always say this uh, paper writing and uh, pattern specification are similar i'm not using the word identical there is a difference between similarity and identical similar the, the thing is there is a description format that's what i ask one more session exclusively for pattern there are so many things to discuss within one hour we cannot cover everything there is a separate format like uh, introduction field of invention background of the invention what is the problem with the associated uh, uh, prior art for example while doing your research you are doing on your own the literature survey if you come across if some problem is uh, reported in some journal if you are able to give, address the problem you are taking that journal as a prior art and you are working you are giving a new solution in the same way you call it as a pattern literature sorry literature survey we call it as a pattern search you call it as a journal paper we are calling it as a pattern specification the only difference between the paper and the specification is claim part claim is the boundary of the invention for example the madam said the for example this uh, uh, a synthetic uh, hair dye composition which you granted patent to the bishopur college recently is a unique composition there may be thousands of hair dye composition available in the market some new ingredients added through the new ingredients what are the benefits that you are getting is not ammonia based hair uh, dye composition so that you have to focus more on the advantage part so whatever the uh, composition there may be a b c d if there are four co four component you have to give all the four components in one particular ratio only you will get the benefit you have to claim that part only that is the claim that's the only difference claim is the only difference between the journal paper and specification but we always say you are the only person who knows very well about your invention if you read few pattern specification you will get easily you will get an idea about how to draft a claim and other thing but the rest of the part the is similar to the journal paper the experiments that you are taking here we are calling it as example that you will use the word experiment okay the same thing by by experience you can uh, learn that thing sir in next session we will discuss in detail because there are list of non patentable invention that i have not covered here due to some insufficiency of time in the next session uh, we will discuss in detail about pet we would also like to have your guidance in uh, preparing the script for patenting there are different forms you please uh, gu guide us how to because some of our faculty members are interested to register for patent they don't know the procedure uh, how to uh, prepare the documents and other things so if time permits kindly help our faculty members uh, to register for patents okay ma'am i will do my level best ma'am even this uh, one more uh, this last patent grantor also that uh, research scholar was in touch with me continuously what are the queries raised we have discussed how it can be addressed i have given my input one more patent is in queue uh, yes file one more also probably that will also be processed in short time of, uh, in the coming due course of time but i expect more uh, patent application from your side the only problem which i can say for you is the application fee if you file in college name it is huge amount if you file it in individual name it is less amount you want the uh, last patent also filed in the individual name miss uh, dr icr sir and uh, kartikeyan so if you are an individual the application fee is only 1750 and plus 4400 so it will come around 6150 only that is if you are filing the institution name huge cost that means 8800 plus 22000 you need to spend 30000 is you to decide if the college permits take permission from the management and that uh, uh, for filing in individual name if the college permits you can file it on your own name because anyway is the credential to the college yes ma'am thank you very much is there any other questions if you have any other questions you can ask thank you very much sir for elaborately narrating the tr about trademarks copyrights filing patents layout designs trade secrets field of inventions and sharing about one's rights to possess use and to dispose 
and for also answering all the queries. Thank you so much, sir. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow. Let me now invite Dr. A. Umesh Samuel Jebasilan, the Vice Principal Projects, to propose the word of thanks. Most respected and beloved principal of these institutions, the team of internal policy Dean Academy, Dean Mary of Science, uh, Dr. Vaidya Layabran, Dean IPA, Dean uh, Research and Development, Dr. Uh, Suresh Sadi, uh, Vice Principal Agent, Professor Alakapal Moses, we are part of the department from various disciplines, we are participants, especially the research scholars, a uh, pleasant uh, good afternoon to everyone. It is a bit me great human pleasure offering the word of thanks. First, I like to thank our principal for his continued support and motivation in organizing this program. Thank you very much, sir, for your presence as well as delivering the presidential address. I would record my sincere thanks to the resource person, Mr. B. Aguilan. Lester alumnus of our own institution, Deputy Control of Patent and Design, Patent Office, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, for sparing his valuable knowledge to us. Not only that, despite his hectic schedule, they have accepted our invitation during the short period and uh, delivered a beautiful presentation about. Uh, the patent, and he explained the eight components of IPR, namely the industrial design, trademarking, copyright, geographical indication, and trading rights, integrated circuit layout, design, and patent. Sir, definitely your input would have given a lot of uh, encouragement for the research scholar as well as the faculty members who are on the verge of applying patent. We will definitely invite you for the next session about the procedure, how to apply for the patent and all. Thank you very much for sparing your valuable time, sir. On behalf of Kishabha College, especially from uh, Dean Area of Research and Development and Institute and Innovation Council, I thank you, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I also like to express my sincere thanks to the faculty members, the participants, the research scholars. I think definitely it will have given a lot of input to you. I hope in the days to come, sir, you'll be receiving a lot of uh, applications for either patenting or for copyright. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, do we have this IAC meeting also? I have received a separate invitation from uh, yeah. college for 3 30. Within five minutes, we'll start there. Okay. okay, sir. I will take a break and join there. A small break. I okay. think Dr. Uh, Arun Devare also is one of the experts in IAC. Okay. okay, sir. Uh, a short break, I will join, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Dear faculty members and research scholars, the link for your participation has been shared in the chat box. Kindly fill the form before leaving the meet. I also request the external experts, members, and coordinators of Institutions Innovation Council cell to remain in the meet as we'll begin the quarter two council meet shortly. Once again, I thank, once again, I thank all the participants. Hope the session was useful and informative. Have a pleasant evening. Thank you all. Thank you.